Did it. We've not seen the first season of the upcoming Star Trek Strange New World series, but now we find ourselves asking, has Strange New Worlds already been renewed for a second season? Welcome to Trek Central, I'm your host Captain Jack and let's get right into it. The spin-off of Star Trek Discovery, Star Trek Strange New Worlds, which is set to follow the adventures of Pike, Spock and Number One on the USS Enterprise before Kirk's captaincy is set to be released sometime next year. However, it looks like the show has already been renewed for a second season. So let's break this news down and talk about what it might mean for the show going forward. Now, if you want to keep up to date on all the latest Star Trek news, lore and more, then make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video from the team here at Trek Central. You can also follow us on social media for daily updates on the Star Trek universe. Alright, let's hit it. For those who might not know, Star Trek Strange New World will follow the adventures of Captain Christopher Pike, the captain of the USS Enterprise before James Tiberius Kirk became captain. Pike is joined by his analytical first officer, Commander Una Chin Riley aka Number One, and its senior science officer, Mr. Spock. These characters appeared in Star Trek Discovery Season 2, but used that season as a springboard for their own show, which is coming out later next year. Before the show was announced, many fans were asking for such a show to be made having seen the great Anson Mount Pike was during the second season of Star Trek Discovery. Before the show was announced, many fans were asking for such a show to be made, having seen how great Anson Mount's Pike was during the second season of Star Trek Discovery. It doesn't seem to have just been fans though, as co-showing of The Strange New Worlds, Akiba Goldsman, originally thought that Discovery was going to be about Pike, and he was disappointed when it wasn't about Pike at all. But he decided to use this opportunity to push for his Pike series, and lo and behold, it happened. We don't know much about the first season of The Strange New World so far, let alone what a second season would hold for both us as a viewer and the crew of the USS Enterprise. Though it does look like the show has been renewed for a second season, with news about this coming from multiple different sources. Spoiler TV first pointed out that Strange New Worlds has been renewed for its second season, followed by a sighting in Production Weekly. Since then, most online publications have jumped on to talk more about a possible season 2 for the upcoming series. For now, Viacom CBS have not announced anything, and likely won't until the first season airs. A similar thing happened with Star Trek Picard. We heard reports about it being renewed ahead of time, but it's not until the premiere of Season 1 that CBS finally confirmed Season 2 was in production. So it is something we can expect by now. The first season of Strange New Worlds only recently finished filming, with it currently being in post-production. So when the actors might return to filming, or at least we might hear some more casting news, will be sometime next year. So, let's go over what we currently know about the first season of Strange New Worlds. First off, we'll talk about the premise of the show. Obviously it's about Captain Pike, as we said multiple times in this video, but Strange New World seeks to return to the episodic storytelling style of the original series and other legacy Star Trek shows. However, even though we'll be getting the situation of the week and how the crew of the Enterprise will be solving these issues, emotional bets and character development will continue past the episode. So, if a character goes through something traumatic, they won't simply forget about it by the next episode. Such as all the traumatic things Chief O'Brien goes through, yeah it's perfectly fine and in the next episode. Seriously, that guy needs a break. So, as we turn to more episodic storytelling, who will be the characters we follow week to week? Well, recently at Star Trek Day in September, we got character reveals for the crew of the USS Enterprise. From those we know, such as Pike, Number One of Spock, to old faces of Dr. Mbenga and Nurse Christine Chapel, and famously Cadet Noito Hora from the original series, who also served on the Enterprise under Captain Kirk. Joining these legacy characters are new characters from the Anar Hema, a subspecies of the Andorian we see in Star Trek Enterprise, Lan Nunin Singh, who shares a name with a notable Trek villain of Khan Nunin Singh, and Lieutenant Enrico Antigues. We have done character breakdowns on some of these newer characters, or what they might mean going forward, so check them out if you want to know more. So now that we know some of the characters that will be joining us in Season 1 of Star Trek Strange New Worlds, what about Season 2? Let's look at each character and what might happen. Nurse Christine Chapel is still on board the USS Enterprise, under Kirk's era, so I don't expect a lot from her. The only thing we know about her from before that time is she gave up a career in bio-research to look for her fiancé, Dr. Roger Corby, who we find in the TOS episode, What Are Little Girls Made Of? So we might get some more information on that relationship, possibly with Dr. Corby only disappearing recently, with Christine dealing with that. We know that the last message Nurse Christine Chapel received from Corby was around 5 years before we find him, so 2261. So we may see said message in Season 2 or 3 of the show, depending if they explore it. Now, Dr. Mbenga is a very interesting character, because he serves as Chief Medical Officer on board the Enterprise under Kirk, when McCoy is not around. However, it seems that he is the Chief Medical Officer aboard the Enterprise under Pike, 
So could we see Mbenga leave the ship and return at a later date? having found the role as chief medical officer or even taken by Dr. McCoy. The characters which are most unknown are Hema, La Nguyen Singh and Enrico Ortigas, since these are new characters. So these characters have the most and can be done with them. They are a blank state, so they could be killed in action or simply move on to another ship or retire from Starfleet. There are many options available and it'll be interesting to see what happens. Though I do hope we stick with the crew and maybe the odd introduction or reintroduction to give back TOS feel of a singular crew on a five year journey. With the time period before that of TOS, we can see some original series one-shot characters and expand them more, such as how Discovery expand on the Harcourt Fenton Mart in Season 1 of its show. From Starfleet characters such as Commodore Decker to Garth of Izar, the only thing the show has to do and take care of is Spock and Uhura, as they are TOS characters, so not having meet characters or interact with characters who you might meet for the first time in the original series. They can't conflict the lore of the original series. Apart from all of that, we have no idea what Season 2 of Strange New Worlds might have in store for us, but we are massively looking forward to this show, and see more adventures of the US's Enterprise under Captain Pike. Star Trek Strange New Worlds Season 1 is set to air sometime in 2022. It's likely to coincide with the international rollout of Paramount Plus, and will be used as the new flagship title of the streaming platform. We're certainly excited. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, because once again, if you're talking about Star Trek, then we want to hear about it. Of course, if you do want to keep up to date on all the latest Star Trek news, lore and more, then make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video from the team here at Trek Central. You can also follow us on social media or join our community Discord server. For now, I've been Captain Jack, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Live long and prosper my friends, goodbye.